The Higher Education Partnerships for Sub-Saharan Africa have been going for some years now and it's a programme that encourages interaction between academia and industry for engineering education to try and improve the relevance and the skills of engineering graduates. We've been funding 70 universities across Africa through a hub and spoke model where we have hubs in nine sub-Saharan African countries and spoke universities feeding out from those hubs. It's important to work with the uh, universities in other countries and also even within Uganda so that the benefits from the project are not just for Makere University but they are also for those other universities and, and uh, countries. The students come in, they know a lot of theory, but by the time they leave, they really appreciated what is practically done on the ground. The Royal Academy of Engineering UK has been supporting us through support of our academia industry collaboration. It's very important that students are oriented to the actual production processes, culture of working, and most importantly, the rules and regulations that govern production in a factory. So that once they have that during their training, they will have no difficulties adapting when they get employed into the industries. It's very exciting to see students who, they, they, they now work together in the teams, they, they will go to the industry and participate, and then at the end of the training period, you see people who are productive, and they, they go out there and do many things. We are a team that's looking at exploring water recycling as a solution to water use inefficiency, which is a crisis globally. So we decided to set up a system that consists of a constructed wetland right here, Water from the kitchen, which we call grey water, is directed to our system, treated efficiently and is to be released into a garden to illustrate the reuse potential, supported by the Royal Academy of Engineering. Problem-based learning has helped us to concentrate on the problem and develop practical solutions for it. Knowledge is a partner for, with the University of Namibia under the HAPSA project. Through this program, Knowledge took on staff and students for training and exposure to the industry practices. With the equipment and the books we've gotten from the HAPSA project, they can compete to any student in any foreign university, be it in the UK, even in the US. Uh, because we're currently using the same textbook, they are using the same kind of equipment. Even in the diagnostics, they are now seeing the physical equipment. And the interest in the course has uh, already tripled since we got the HEPSA grant. So we've seen quite a lot of change as a result of this program. Clearly, much more exchange and dialogue between industry and academia, but also a much greater vitality in the student activities within the universities, as they really are much more motivated to build their skills for uh, really making a difference within their country, within their region and beyond.